Hello everyone, this is Matt at Fix My GPU again. Today we have a Samsung DLP TV model number HL-R4667W uh, which is suffering from the same problem as every other problem that we usually encounter a GPU that has somehow lifted from the board is not making a connection um, so we, I'm going to show you how to take this sucker apart and uh, show you where the chip's at and we'll work on the process of fixing it. I'm not quite sure I have a stencil for the chip so we might be in for a long haul of putting balls on and all that. Uh, God, I hope I have something that's close. But uh, we shall see. Alright, I'm going to pause it and uh, get set up so we can take it apart. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is take off the back screws. for a little bit. Voila. Try not to beat your TV up too bad, I guess. Huh? Alright, now we gotta take this faceplate off. Which has one, two, three, four screws it looks like. Five screws. All right, so we got to get this section out. Um, first thing to do is kind of pull on it and start taking your ribbons off. Just be aware of where they went. These connectors on these, uh, pretty much only go in one spot. They set it up that way. At least they were nice enough to do that. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew our uh, looks like a DVI cable. Looks like a DVI connection.
this guy straight up. And there's a little grounding screw right here. Voila. Okay. I'll get set up on the uh, bench and uh, move the camera, and then we'll, I'll show you how to take this part apart and uh, get to the chip that we need to fix. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is take this fan off, pop it out, take the gold screw out. Pull it out. Then we need to take the bottom cables off. This one has a broken tab. I gotta, think I gotta use, might be able to get with a flathead. Maybe. Alright, everything's okay. Alright, pull this one off. Then we just pull her out. Now, first off, we're going to have to take the screws that hold. PGA cable in. Pop them out. And the same thing with the DVI cable. And there's two screws on the back. connections, you just gotta loosen them. Can't do it with your fingers, just use a pair of pliers. And then you gotta kind of pry. Both sides. There's our victim. So, got screws to get this board out. One, two, three, four, and five.
lift up on the back, kind of pull towards the back. It's got a little gold face plate right here. Just peel that off so it doesn't get in your way. And you can always make sure you put it on later. So I'm definitely going to take this off because it's got so much plastic around it. Um, and the capacitors. And then I'm going to set it up on the Joby. Make sure there's no plastic on the bottom because you don't want it melting on you. Set it up on the Jovi and I'll start the camera back up. Okay, so I got it on the Jovi system. Um, got the thermocoupler next to it. Uh, it's at 90, 93 degrees Celsius right now is what I start. Uh, you know, you just turn on the fast reflow on the lower heater. This is just to remove the chip. We're going to use the profile to add it back on. So fast reflow till it gets about 80 and then turn on the upper heater to fast reflow and then when it hits 110 swing the upper heater over and we are at 107 right now 108 109 110 since the board is level with the XY table I have the upper heater set at three and a half. And We're going to let it try to get to about 220 degrees before we remove it. There was no glue that I saw on the edges. Two of two right now. Then turn on the pump. Two ten. Thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Twenty one. Voila. There's no glue, it's fairly simple. Make sure you turn the upper and lower heater off and turn your fan on. 